Ivrim, Hebrews 1. Yahweh, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spoke in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, has in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high, being made so much better than the angels, as he has by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. For unto which of the angels said he at any time, You are my son, this day have I begotten you. And again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And again, when he brings his Yahid into the world, he says, And let all the angels of Yah worship him. And of the angels, he says, Who makes his angels Ruachoth, and his ministers a flame of fire? But unto the Son, he says, Your throne, O Elohim, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom. You have loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore, Elohim, even your Elohim, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your fellows. And you, Yahweh, in the beginning have laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the works of your hands. They shall perish, but you remain, and they all shall wax old as does a garment. And as a vesture shall you fold them up, and they shall be changed. But you are the same, and your years, rather years, shall not fail. But to which of the angels, said he at any time, sit on my right hand, until I make your enemies your footstool? Are they not all ministering Ruachoth, sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of Eth Yahshua, 